welcome back to our channel. I am Noemi. This is Reynard. I want to make a little Christmas present for my puppy and my cat. So yeah, we are going to make a little uh, pet bed for them. Um, the ingredients which we will use are pretty much just a Christmassy jumper. I picked this up in a second hand shop uh, exactly just for this purpose to kind of mess it up and make a pet bed from it. We will need some old pillows for stuffing. I have two here which I never will use again. Um, I have some old leggings and other clothes also just for stuffing and I have a bunch of packing peanuts so I think I will use this up as well because it will be fun. It will look like a little bean bag for the little um, animals. <laughs> This is how my jumper looks. It kind of has a little neck area as well. Put this inside, so it's going to be like this. This is how I'm going to sew it in. The neck area is disappearing. Basically, you will want to leave an area like 15 centimeters wide at the top and the same at the bottom. So basically, I'm closing this end in right now. I'm finished with the top part, it's nicely sewed in. So like I said, for this part, I will leave like a, I don't know, 15, 20 centimeter long, uh, I mean wide um, area. So I'm closing this part in now. Do you like my little needle holder? <laughs> Super cute. My grandma made it for me. So, now we have this part all closed in, so I will try to fill it in. Oh. What? You have something to say? <laughs> Ray is always so upset when the cat tries to interfere. Our bed is slowly turning into a bed shape. As you can see, these parts are all stopped now. So we will do the middle area starting right now. I will put one of the pillows in as the bottom part and I will put the rest of my packing peanuts in as a top layer to make it a bit more soft and, I don't know, just being back stylish. Now that it's stopped, I'm going to close this bottom part and then fix the sleeves to the bottom and to the side as well so it has the nice rounded shape. It is stopped in the middle, it is stopped at the edges, so now I will have to connect these two pieces together and I will fix it to the side as well a little so it sticks at one place. I will just put one sleeve into the other and I will sew it here as well and then I will sew it into the bottom and to the side and then we have a pad bed. Oops. So now this is all closed in. I can show you it's not too nice. I basically just do it as fast as I can and now we will attach this circle to the body to the bed and we are pretty much done after that. Most of the sleeves are attached but I still have this long uh, bottom part so I will wrap it over here and I will sew it in here in the middle and then our little bed is all ready. Guys, how do you like it? <laughs> I think it's awesome. The boy thinks it's awesome too. Go on, try it. Try it. Oh, <laughs> 
being very careful. All right, guys. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little workshop. If you did, please make sure to leave us a comment and let us know if you would like to do something similar in the future. I have a lot more creative ideas for future little workshops. So if you think we should make more of these, then please let us know. <laughs> okay, Ray is becoming a bit restless now. So yeah, I will take him out for a walk. It's, uh, it's the time, one o'clock now. So yeah, we still have half of the day, still have lots of time to go out for some adventures and I guess that's exactly what we will do. <laughs> Look at him, I love how he lays down. <laughs> Can you see this position? What the hell, my dog is broken. Are you broken? He's so silly. You're so silly, I love you, Ray. <laughs> Alright guys. Well, I hope you will join in next time as well. Till then, see you guys!